Hey folks, out here in the shed today pedaling around. Thought I'd show you my little solar power system I have here. It'll work great for emergencies and it's easy to put together. Hang on. Orlando Prepper coming at you again. Like I said, I'm going to share with you this simple little solar power system. It would be great if you want, if you just need something small and you want to put it together yourself. So we'll start at the top with a solar panel, work our way down. I'll show you each component. And the price to put this together is very affordable. But if you ever need it, it's going to be worth its weight in gold. So let's head up top. Right there is my panel. It's a 100 watt panel. Of course, there are several uh, makes. But if you get a 100 watt like this one is, you're going to get in probably about 700 watts of power during the whole day into your batteries, which is plenty. And when you do buy a panel, look for one uh, that runs about a dollar a watt. That way it's relatively inexpensive. And they pretty much all work great. There's where the wire runs in from the solar panel. Runs down the wall to this breaker switch. Where I can turn the, the panel off if I want. Runs down to the battery, uh, excuse me, the charge controller here. This I have to highly recommend, guys. It's a Renergy uh, 10 amp Wanderer charge controller. Everything in there is pre programmed except the kind of battery you're using. And it's so, ample, so simple for you to select that yourself. You select uh, your voltage, then you press and hold the enter button. You see it flashing? That's, that's for sealed batteries. Then you push select. It goes to gel. Or it goes to flooded for your lead acid batteries. You just make your selection. you got three options. It's that easy. Once you find your batteries in that selection process, you push and hold the enter button again. And you're back to your voltage. And you're set. Now the wire from outside runs in here. Then you run from your battery connection down to your batteries, which I have here. I have two 12 volt 35 amp Harbor Freight batteries. They work great. I've had them about six years. They're still strong. I thought last week that I lost them, but I didn't. I put a good hard charge on them and they're working great again. So I have to highly recommend this kind of battery. But if you want a lithium battery, it would hook up exactly the same. Now my connection runs out from the battery up the wall. That's the wires you see running to your right. Into my power inverter here. I have my radio hooked in, but I can use this to run small hand tools. Works great. Never had a problem with it. And from your, uh, from your load here on your charge controller. Have a wire running up to this panel. This switch controls this 12 volt uh, plug just like a cigarette lighter plug. This switch controls the lights in the shed. Right there. Each one of those is five burns five watts. They're LEDs. So I'm burning a total of 10 watts of power. And that is a long burn, guys. When you got 840 watts down there. If you'd rather go with a lithium battery there, get you a 12 volt, uh, 100 amp battery. You'll have even more power than I do. And it'll be easy, easy to carry around if you want to make this a mobile unit that you can use in your house. Put you some of those 12 volt sockets. Hey Tucker, what's going on, buddy? Put you some of those 12 volt sockets on the side of this box and run your wires to that. You'll be able to run several components off of that at one time. Now, if you use 12 volt components, your power will last a lot longer than if you have a, that power inverter hooked up and you're using 110 power. 
I have run a TV, a fan, and two lights off of this system for 10 hours straight and still have plenty of power at the end of that test. Just three components guys, the panel, the charger, and the batteries. Now like I said, if you want to make a portable unit and a tote, so you can carry it in the house, take it out and hook it up to your panel and charge it, that's great. It's very simple to do. And like I said, this is an inexpensive system. Let's say you go with a lithium battery. It's going to run you between $150 and $175 for a 100 watt 12 volt battery. That's going to be the most expensive part of this build. If you get a 100 watt solar panel at a dollar a watt or less, then you know, there's another 100 bucks. The charge controller, $20. Very inexpensive. So you're looking at what, 270 bucks for a system? If you use that 100 watt battery, lithium battery, you're going to have 1200 watts of power. That's much less than what you would pay for, uh, you know, ready to go solar power unit like a Jackery or something like that. I'm not, I'm not knocking Jackery. They're good units. But I make these videos to try to help you save money, guys. These bills are easy. If you have any problems, shoot me an email. TheOrlandoPrepper at gmail.com I'll walk you through it, word for word. If you just get the components to put it together. Now, hopefully that'll save you some bucks. Just help you out. Give me a thumbs up. I'd greatly appreciate it. Or if you got a friend that's wanting to build a system, forward this to him. Very simple. That's why I make these videos to help you guys out. So with that, I'm going to say stay strong, keep prepping, and pray for the United States. The Orlando Prepper is out.